Hello and welcome to the video. So we're we're back on to uh, equipment improvement for the uh, for the channel. And in the previous video, I sort of told you about my new DJI Osmo um, action cam, uh, which I'm actually using now. Uh, so it's the first video where I'm actually using my new camera. Uh, that said, it's actually uh, sitting on top of my granddad's old tripod which is um, I think it was used for cine cameras and it's actually about 70 years old uh, and surprisingly I'm using this nice new technology on something so old. So I think this is where I should point out that uh, on the DJI Osmo action camera there's actually a function where the screen will shut off. Um, now uh, I haven't really checked this before starting my video so uh, suddenly it shut off after one minute of use so I'm talking about the screen on the front here which is, is quite useful because I can see what I'm doing I can see um, if I need to demonstrate something I can see what I'm demonstrating or trying to show you uh, so I've now set that to never but in doing that there's also a shut off for the whole camera after five minutes so it means that I have to keep an eye on the, the clock a little bit um, and try not to get cut off after five minutes. So these are things you have to sort of consider and um, things that have caught me out this time round. So anyway, um, as I mentioned, I'm having to use my, my grandfather's old tripod to put this nice modern DJI action camera on uh, so that I can show you what I'm going to be using to replace the tripod. Um, so I invested in a smart tree, um, I guess you'd call it a selfie stick or I don't know, but um, basically um, you can use it like this, so it's quite good for close shots. And as the st stabilisation is quite good on the action camera, um, I didn't really want to buy a gimbal, so I bought this instead. But um, the thing that's quite interesting is that, uh, like all selfie sticks, you can you can extend it out uh, and then tighten it up, and you've got quite a long stick. Okay, you can put the attachment on for the action cam, which is the two prong bracket thing with a hole through it, or you can put a, a traditional, um, as I've got on my tripod camera. Um, attachment which I, I think is already there actually but um, you've got that and then you've got um, what comes with it is an attachment which is like spring loaded for your, your phone um, I've actually already got an attachment for my phone which is it's got a knob that you turn on the end which I prefer because the spring loaded one is likely to damage your, your phone because it's, it puts too much pressure on the sides so yeah that's that's pretty good so you've got that and you can you, as you can do on my old uh, camera, if I can, no, it's not going to work. Ah. ah, there we go. So, and then you can tilt it uh, as you can do on a traditional tripod. Um, as well, you get this too, so you can turn it into. Uh, an actual tripod. So you screw that into the bottom and these open out and there you've got your tripod so you can stick that down there and there you go, you've got a tripod with the quite high selfie stick which is ideal for if I'm sitting down and, and talking to the camera um, but you know you can close the selfie stick down I always have a job with this because it's a bit it can be a bit temperamental there we go you tighten it up and there you got a mini tripod so it is quite useful that is uh, it cost um, about well I've got a discount on it 25 euros so I think that's quite reasonable really and it's it's very portable. You've got a strap on it as well, so you can sort of grab hold of that, and there's no risk of it falling out of your hand and dropping your camera on the floor or on the ground even. So yeah, that's a new bit of kit. 
So anyway, I think that's that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, despite the shaky start, but you learn about these things as you go along, I think. Um, so from now on, it's going to be the DJI Osmo camera. My granddad's old tripod's going to be retired. I'll use it for my other camera, for my um, Nikon uh, DSLR. And from now on, it's going to be selfie stick and DJI Osmo. So thanks for watching and uh, take care of yourselves. See you in the video. Bye. There's a bit of bonus footage. I've just remembered that uh, there's something else that's quite useful on this camera. So going away from the tripod, back to the camera again. Um, at the moment, I haven't got one, but you can buy an adapter that fits into this um, USB-C uh, plug uh, so that you can use an external mic. Um, as you've seen before, I've got a normal external mic that just plugs straight into a jack. But I've also got um, a cordless mic, which is a cheapo uh, Chinese thing with a German name on it, um, which uh, works via UHF. Um, so it's it can be a bit temperamental, but also uses a jack. So obviously with the DJI Osmo, you haven't got a jack, you've just got this USB port. But the other problem is, is that uh, obviously when you've got this, this cage around the camera, um, you can't actually plug it in when you've got the door. If you can see the, the door here, which I've taken off. Uh, when the door's in place, obviously with the cage over the top, you can't plug anything into it. So I found that, uh, in fact, if you, if you take this cage off, excuse my dodgy camera work, I'm using back to using my phone again. So if you take the the camera out of this, so you've got the door on, so you can put that back on. So if you, if I'm trying to do this one-handed. Support. Mega. Red. Van. Here. So you need to, to pull it, pull the the door. You've got like a little square thing on there. So you need to push that all the way across. And once you've done that, you can click it into place. Push the door down, and then close it. So obviously when you've got the cage, if you put that in the cage, for example, so there's the cage. Um, this is turning out to be a long bonus part, but it's very important, you know. So obviously, once you've got it in the cage, then well, if you've got it in the cage the right way around even, because that's the wrong way around. So I'll just push it back out again. So um, You've got to line the buttons up, so you've got the trying to look at this a minute. So help if I put the camera in the right way around. Uh, if you put the, the camera in the right way around, then obviously the door is going to line up with the hole. And once you've put it in, you can't open the door. Which means if you want to put an extension um, plug on for your mic, you can't. So obviously you've got to take the door off. And to do that, you open the door, you press the little button to open the door, push it back. So you push it back. And it should clip out like that. And then when you put it back in, as before, you have to push on this little square thing here and then clip it in, which I've just shown you. So an important bonus uh, thing on the video, because if you get yourself a mic extension, then obviously you need access to this port, to this USB-C port. And there you go.
I hope that's useful. Quand je reviens dans mon Essonne Au fond de moi, mon cœur résonne